Gak Dasher Lee here. Listen, cherry pickers do not trust them. I'm telling you, listen, plain and simple. I'm not going to dispute that they're making money off DoorDash, but let me tell you, they're not working DoorDash only. They're 10 percenters. They're doing like every one out of every 10 of a DoorDash and trying to act like that's the truth of what it is. So for me, I'm just an old man doing DoorDash to keep busy and stay uh, active and, you know, uh, put a little spending and fun money in my pocket. Now, I'm going to give it to you like it is, you know, plain and simple. Uh, I do about 70 to 85% of the orders in my market. So what I'm going to tell you is my market specific, but I will say this. Um, unless you are actually taking the amount of orders that i take unless you are doing what i do you're never going to know what the tipping is and i can tell you in my market 90 percent of the people are better tip i am going to take my april statements of everything that was put to me and i took which is about 200 maybe more i'd have to check and um, show everybody all the ones that I took that had tips. Now, I think uh, today I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna take pictures of it and show you. Uh, you know, unless everything that's not 225. 225 or 250 is not a tip. But anything over that, I'm gonna take, show you the tips. Now, all the cherry pickers wanna say, no tip, no trip, no tip, no trip, no tip. Basically, really what they're doing is they're being selective on what they want to take. And a lot of the orders that they decline have tips on it. They just don't like it. Or they have this preconceived notion that a $4.25 order for a half a mile is beneath them. You know, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to tell you, honestly, and this is for anybody that's dashing want to dash has dashed um the only true way to dash is to go out plain and simple test your market work the shifts know what they are know how they run know what's best and then adapt your style to that whether it is cherry picking which could be profitable you know, I'm not trying to disclaim that, but, you know, I wouldn't just take somebody that cherry-picked or if somebody said, oh, well, I tried, you know, taking all the orders for a week. Well, you know, you got a crappy AR, you know, you're probably not going to get the best orders because they generally will have a victim mentality. And they'll tell you they don't. They just say, I should have access to the orders just like anybody else. Well, the fact of the matter is, you know, DoorDash says if you follow our model and more closely, then we will reward you with first access to the better orders. That's not the same as saying you're not getting an order because you're only doing 10%. It's just saying, you know, if you want first access, you need to bring it up. If you don't, you're just not going to get it. That's smart business because that's DoorDash saying, hey, we got people that are going to take orders and let's give them opportunity to make more money and better money by giving them first access to this because they're the ones that are taking orders. You know, it doesn't make sense to let part-timers get the best order. That, 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 that's bad for business, plain and simple. And DoorDash is a business to make money. And, you know, the reality of it is the orders are the orders from the customer. It's not DoorDash making orders up. It's the customer sending them in. Would I like the orders to show everything? Sure. But again, think about it. Reality says a lot of orders just won't get taken if they do that. You know, so, you know, good or bad, it is what we is. And we have to work with what we have. So I'm just saying, I'm going to show you in my market the orders that I took what they were and I think at this point right now I have two that have no tips on them that's it out of about 200 you know 
So, anyway, uh, just a little rant here, you know, because I'm getting a little tired of people just talking about, you know, DoorDash, people that like to actually stay busy and make money. For me, that's what it's about. When I come out, I want to work, I want to do it, I want to deliver, I want to get it done and, you know, make the amount of money that I feel like or just do it until I don't want to do it anymore, whatever the case may be, and move on. And I realize that mine's a little different because I do have a retirement from the state and my, my last job that I'm not depending on this to make a living, but I also know that I've had weeks where I've made over $500 and in my market, I could live off $2,500 a month. Some of y'all may not be able to because of your market or where you live, cost of living, whatnot. I get that. But you know, if you're not happy with the DoorDash app, then sign off of it and move on down the road. Do the other apps because they're obviously better for you. You know, or they're not because people are still running them even if it's part time and at 10% because they know and you know watching videos from other gig workers you can tell you know the reality is a lot of people aren't putting instacart or walmart or spark or anything like that up on the build most of them are just talking about doordash maybe uber eats or something but anyway so listen y'all have a great day and you know do your research in your own market to figure out what's best for you but you know do a thorough research don't just half-ass it you know, that's just not really the smart thing to do. You know, if you're really out here to make money and make a living off of it, don't half-ass it. Do the research. Spend at least, at least a good week doing every uh, shift, you know, working it and seeing what really works best for you. All right, have a great one.